everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome to my channel. If you've not been here before, it's where I talk about Twin Flame process. So this is a tarot reading for the new moon, which is on uh, 1st of April in the UK. Friday, that is, this week. And it's in Aries. So I'm just going to tune in. Right, so what I'm getting is that this is a really vibrant moon. It is a dark moon, so it's masculine. However, they're saying that it's a very um, positive moon. A lot of dark moon energy is masculine and quite negative. This one they're saying it's positive. Of course, it, we just had equinox, which is about rebirth as well. So there's... Um, rebirth energy around, um, brand new things starting, cycles beginning, cycles ending, cycles beginning. Um, everything is for your highest good, remember, so they're saying, although, you know, sometimes things can come up that you would prefer, from, the, from an egoic perspective, prefer not to be happening, um, you've got to look beyond that and you've got to see that things happen, you know, everything happens for a reason. So basically, you might not be able to see at the time something is happening, why, uh, the bigger reason that it's happening. Um, but you can know that if there's something destined, really big events, saying this is about big events, this moon, are destined... Um, like the fabric of your life they're talking about is based on these destined events. So uh, they're saying like this energy of this moon is massive impulsive energy. So destined events based around people taking impulsive action. Or also it can just be um, really kind of things coming out of the blue that are destined as well. So when they're saying about that, it's just to be aware, you know, one thing leads to another, basically. That's what it means when they say everything happens for a reason, because you can't see the reason yet, maybe. But one thing leads to another, so things have to happen sometimes to allow other things to happen. So you don't just get, for example, a one-off thing, you know, like an event, like if things appear to come out of the blue, but it's never out of the blue in, in the sense that energetically it's always known what's going to happen. So that's why sometimes you've got to have something happen that's like strange or weird or feels like uh, erratic jumping out because it's going to lead to something else later. So in that way, view everything as positive, you know, because you won't know until you look back. Oh, that happened. So that could happen. And then that could happen. And then that could happen. And here I am. And that's why all of that happened. But a lot of the time you're going to see it until you're looking back because you're not, you know, egoically, it's not, egoic energy is not predictive. It's just seeing things as they are and not seeing, it's not extending out into like where that's leading to. So just know that everything leads to something and essentially in that respect, everything's pos positive, you know, because it's all um, leading somewhere. I mean, you know, could go on to say like some like an event like somebody dying, for example, or appearing to die. Uh, although it might feel negative in a way, emotional, you know, there is no such thing as death. There's only transformation. So, but you can't see that from where you stood in your egoic reality. Obviously, a lot of the time you're just in that energy of well, they've gone and that's sad and I feel loss. But um, the predictive energy there would be well, they've not died anyway, they're still around you, and you're not going to die either, you're always going to be around, and you're both going to be together always. So th things like that, it's like you can't see that egoically, you know, but this that's the truth. So just be, a, you know, just kind of feed into that bigger truth, you know, 
that nothing that I think everything exists forever basically okay I've got a card jumping out Queen of Wands which is feminine vibration she's upside down um you maybe you're feeling if you're watching this you'll be feminine energy predominantly working with that maybe you're feeling it already this moon coming in uh, it's quite it's coming in quite heavy and hard you know it's not um just they're saying relinquish to it so it's like destined events coming whatever that is maybe the first destined event that you've got coming is feeling that you're being taken out of the game like you just want to rest relax uh, go into like personal lockdown essentially close the doors close the windows just keep indoors maybe not see anyone if that's how you're feeling then that's and if you feel like you're taken out like you're hit sideways by this moon then allow that to be what guides you and go lie down have a glass of wine whatever it takes <laughs> uh, you know whatever floats your boat in terms of like your relaxation effort go into your relax relaxation mode so go with the flow in terms of what the moon is bringing because it is a masculine moon it is bringing positive events but your presence is not always required for the events to take place so don't push through the moon as though you've got a an agenda like an egoic agenda right because there's that double-edged sword to Aries because it is a sign of the ego so it could be some feminines watching this are feeling like let me just take the ball by the horns and like ride through this moon like it's not even happening and <laughs> push through push through but um that's a very masculine energy that's a very Aries energy right but it's like if your body's telling you no don't go with what your ego's telling you go with what if your body's going like oh but you're exhausted lie down lie down <laughs> then lie down don't push through like you can think you can like challenge the wind you know because the wind will have you they're saying it'll knock you sideways so you might as well just go lie down for the duration if that's how you feel don't battle it don't battle through because what's coming is what's what's coming is coming and it's coming without your egoic effort whatever it is it's your destiny is coming if there's a hurdle to jump through here it's a masculine hurdle to jump through it's not a feminine hurdle or hoop you could say to jump through because it's a masculine moon so whatever it's coming at this time of this moon is for the masculine whoever is working from the masculine um, energy predominantly to like take the ball by the horns and jump through hoops of fire not for the feminine is what they're saying so you need to lie down so the masculine can can do that your energy will be required your vibration so your vibration is your vibrational self is not your physical self and it's not your emotional self and it's not your mental self it's it's that's apart from all of that so actually your vibration can be part of something when you're sleeping right napping and when you're doing less and that is the viewpoint that you're to hold at this moon because the mind is saying otherwise I feel the mind is saying do this do that do this do that go here go there <laughs> think about this work that out make this list and that's not um body is saying no you know emotions will also say no if body's saying no let's get some more cards out right Three of Wands, something coming, it's energetic, it's on the horizon, so everything is always vibrational before it is physical, so what is coming is coming through vibration, so again it's like Queen of Wands upside down, take yourself out of the game, just go lie down, rest, uh, go in, a, you know, these things are really good like um, uh, sensory deprivation tanks, what do they call them, flotation tanks, this kind of stuff, you've got anything like that, or bath, a bath, you know, can be almost as good. Epsom salt bath, Himalayan pink salt bath, this kind of stuff. Get in the water, be like a dolphin, um, close your eyes, relax, that kind of stuff, right? Because something's coming through vibration, so your presence is not required physically, mentally. Uh, it may Emotions may get involved, but that's why they're saying you take yourself out of the game physically and mentally because then you're not going to feel it so much emotionally you're not going to get um, drawn into an emotional sense of this moon you're going to be able to cope with it 
and actually that's what you're required to do because where it's masculine that's got to move at this moon in some respect you're it's best if the feminine is in um tolerant of what is emotional so you know know that you can be emotional know that emotions can move through you know that emotions can take you off guard they can catch you off guard when do emotions catch you off guard when you're feeling low physically um, when you're feeling worn out mentally so that's when you suddenly are overwhelmed by motion that is wanting to feel sad and crying and it's because you're not feeling good in your physical body or not feeling good mentally or feeling overwhelmed or feeling stressed that's why relaxation is so important at this moon because you may if not you might think you're all right and you're, you're pushing through and then you're going to suddenly get overwhelmed emotionally and that is for you to lock down that emotion and to keep that stable because you're connected to somebody you're connected vibrationally if they've got movement to make at this moon which is that what they're saying they have then you need to keep that emotions uh in check so you need to be um on it you know uh, like for example well, I could get overwhelmed emotionally at this moon so I'm just going to make sure I'm just doing less taking it easy you know nice food nice cups of tea nice warm relaxing environment that's kind of stuff right so something is coming it's vibrational first next one we've got five of wands which again is vibrational it's erratic energy it's um you know, when something emerges vibrationally, it's like a birth. So it's like the pain of birth, basically. Something coming through vibrationally, something coming from your twin to you, whether that is vocabulary or whether that is something vibrationally for you to deal with. Because if it's not a physical kind of a, connect, a connection, if it's not a verbal, physical, in the physical environment, it will be something vibrational. So maybe you'll have some work to do at this moon which is about checking what's coming through, keeping that in check. So maybe it's like, you know, for example, let's get another one out. Destiny, judgment. Before the masculine um, makes contact physically, uh, whatever masculine it is that you're dealing with, and that could be any aspect of your twin through anything else that's in the physical environment. As we said before, cat, dog, parrot, <laughs> another person, anything, an event even, a situation. The masculine energy moves through every single avenue of what is physical and manifest. That is your twin's energy moving through. So if you can imagine, when your twin is having th thoughts or feelings of wanting to make contact with you, that's going to come through vibrationally into the physical environment. So you're going to experience it either through your physical body and how you feel in your physical body or through your mentality and what's going on in your mind or through your emotions and how you are feeling in your emotions and it's not about them it's because of them so um, you're gonna that is coming through basically vibration coming through this is erratic energy it's also disempowerment they're saying so it's like something coming through you that is like manifesting through you of the masculine energy that's going to take you off guard and you're going to feel it so it's like batting down the hatches basically hold on to the sides get your feet firmly grounded so when you ground that's just a visual of it right but when you ground what it is you do is that you just look after yourself right and you it's like to, prediction right so we say there's something coming we're not going to say what's coming because it's different for everybody but something's coming. So that's the prediction, basically. So know that it's coming, a destined event of some kind coming through you or coming into your physical environment for some, in terms of communication, in terms of manifestation in that sense, phone calls, emails, texts, whatever. It could be possible as well. Destiny there. So something's destined, right? It's not the same for everybody. Different for everybody, depending on where they're at. Empress, rebirth. So again, so the pains that's going to come through you, the feelings that's going to come through you at this moon is going to be the physically like a physically like a birth. So what is it happens to a woman when she goes into birthing mode? She starts to breathe heavily. Labor pains start coming on. 
she gets taken right out of her head basically because she's focused so into her physical body of what is going to come through her physical body and managing that that birth of through the physical body so it's basically like and that's where they're saying like you hold on to the sides right because when a woman's giving birth it's basically like she's just holding on to the sides while this thing comes through right so it's like that's what your job is as a feminine so for example as well it's like if you get physical pains coming through honor those physical pains so if you're getting like a birthing pains like stomach pains or hip pains in your hip joints you know things like that that feel like you're about to give birth physically um even headaches you know because it's like the pressure inside the vibration the pressure of the vibration about to manifest is um to honor that sensation instead of going like oh i don't feel really well but i've got to do this thing this thing and this thing so i'm just going to push through which is what that other heart, that masculine side of the Aries moon might be like telling you. That's masculine energy. Don't honor that. Honor your feminine energy. No, I'm, there's something's coming through. So I'm going to honor. I'm going to honor what my part of the, this agreement is, which is to get into birthing mode. Literally, they're saying get into a birthing tank, <laughs> the bath. Right. So. Um, and I would really recommend as well exactly the time that that moon comes in and it hits you head on, is to be in water, actually, it feels like. And I don't know what time it is, you have to look it up. Different time, different places, right? I think even in England, it's going to be slightly different times, depending on what your location is, north or south, probably. So look into that. Ten of Wands, which is expansion energetically. So possibilities, multiple possibilities, right? Destined events. How many destined events have you got? have you got in your life to go through multiple destined events right and destined energetic events that lead to another event and another event and another event it's those multiple you know like they said at the beginning one thing leads to the next everything happens for a reason so that's right in the middle at the heart of the matter so it's multiple um you know it's like how many times you're gonna have, a good, have to give birth to energetically what's coming through you because you're in twin flame connection multiple times so again this is just if you know this already this is just an, uh, another opportunity to actually honor moon energy and honor your own process and honor your twin flame connection and honor the fact that it is vibrational connection and that's really the opposite to the egoic energy because the ego wants it to be always be physical it wants it to be manifest it wants conversations it wants that person in the room uh it that's what it wants and it wants and it wants because it's egoic right but the actual the process of twin flame is to honor the vibrational connection so it's letting go of the i want of the ego and it's honoring this is i'm in this connection you could say for better or worse right and that's really interesting because people get married and they say for better or worse right well what, what is twin flame connection if it is not a, a connection you know a, an energetic marriage basically so it's like you have to honor that vibrational connection and it's almost like well this is just going to happen at this moon i'm going to feel it coming through whatever so this is just how it is this is what it is this is what twin flame process is and if you're in that if you're in that agreement with it then you're actually 100% on board with the process and you are guide, you are in self-guiding mode through the process so that's a much uh, it's a much more interesting place to be as far as your process it's a much more uh, equivalent place to be in terms of being on board with the process you know and honoring it and therefore actually disintegrating anything that is in opposition to it and when you disintegrate all resistance to the process itself, you have manifestation into the physical of all that I want energy that you've had to put aside because that's not the part that you honor. So it's actually when you do manifest physically, communication, verbally, textually, email, conversation, everything is when you have acknowledged and honored and just come into a final, like a complete understanding of the vibrational um process itself and let go of all the i want so that's that right let's go there good the sun so like they said it's a really powerful positive moon masculine moon so just like um you know if you wanted to get like some 
binoculars or something and like zone in on this um moon energy what it is for the masculine is that it's a chance for them to move forward in some way it's a big push for them so vibrationally you know feminine masculine is in both twins it's not equal because one's working from feminine primarily and the other's working from masculine primarily so um the one working from masculine primarily the what people call the masculine twin divine masculine this is good energy for them this is really positive energy for them. This is the push that they need, all right? Because um, as we said previously, source energy wants your twin flame physical reunion. It doesn't want it before it's meant to happen, but it does want it. And it's always organizing the self-fulfilling prophecy, the destiny of what the energy is here that you're doing, right? It's the rolling together of that coming together um, that bring the vibrationally pulling the two people together so that's what source wants and source is always guiding that through you and your vibrational self and through your twin and their vibrational self which is the same vibrational self so it's a good push it's a good push for them the one operating from the masculine to make a move in some way to own their masculine energy you know the sim quite simply to pick the phone up or to write an email um, and if we're going to be pushed to do that, you're not required. The feminine is not required to do anything. It's not like you're standing over their shoulder going, right, just write this. <laughs> okay, now write that because you're not, you, it's got to come from them, right? It's got to come through their vibrational self. So, um, yeah, and it's good for that. Right, let's go here. There, look, King of Pentacles, which is the masculine twin. Um, Destiny expansion of possibilities energetically vibrationally king of pentacles <coughs> excuse me manifest masculine into the physical so it's coming through multiple ways multiple twins as well i mean not that everybody's got multiple twins although you do in a sense really because the masculine energy can appear through any anything and anyone right until that eventual final outcome of the one that is that you would say is your, tw your twin, if you want to know who that is, it's the final one. <laughs> so you know, <laughs> it's the one you end up with. So before then as well, it's like multiple opportunities for that energy to come through. So at some point in this journey, you know, there's really no point saying, is this my twin or is this my twin or is this my twin or is this my twin? Because you won't know until it's the last one that turns up and then you're like, oh yeah, that's my twin. <laughs> oh yeah. See, because predictive is, can't always be because it's um it's like it can be it's egoic right divinity is divinity it's just uh it's a beautiful thing actually is what they're saying so and it's involving a lot of let go so <laughs> the destiny of the final one showing up for some or the destiny of one that leads to the final one it depends where you are at in your process it depends what is you on your on the uh you're on the precipice right looking out at in terms of where you're at vibrationally this is creation vibrationally she's creation vibrationally so it's created through who you are and how you are vibrationally and how it's created is through your the amount of let go you're in which is equivalent to the amount of higher self you're in it's the same thing and the 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 uh, the lesser amount of ego that you're in right so just like they said there's no I want in vibrational accuracy. There's only I have, I am, it is, here we are. You know, things like that. It is what it is. Here we are. This is how it is. It's great how it is. I love how it is. Um, I'm loving everything. How This is just brilliant. That's how, that's your vibrational accuracy, you see. So, and it's also a lot of let go and it's even let go in so much as it's like, what was I doing just now? Oh, I was feeling great. I was just feeling great. That's that's the kind of let go, right? There's no nothing on the agenda. So when they're saying you take yourself out of the game, it's like you let go of any agenda, egoic agenda. Um, so for example, you know if you've got an agenda because you're frowning, right? And you're like, your face is screwing up, your eyes are squinting because you're thinking about what you should be doing next or what you should be doing now. Or you're worrying about what you haven't done or what looks out there that you should be doing that's all you'll know it because you get you tense up and you go into what's called resistance <laughs> right so um and the let go is just like 
zone you zone out basically you completely you go like well what was i hang on what was i just doing if you say that then you're in higher self completely because it means you're just coming back into self after being completely zoned out into higher self <laughs> right so that's what they want from you at this moon is zoning out basically let's get here a uh, brand new journey the fall so coming through energy as well like this erratic energy uh, multiple possibilities extensions of energy and the, the fall which is something brand new coming into being let's get the last one out here and then we've got the king of cups which is masculine energy again mastering the heart so this is a really long story that goes with the card but it's um the whole journey of the twin flame journey is about mastery of the heart okay but it starts with the feminine's mastery of the heart and them coming into acknowledgement of their own self and their own feeling good so once the feminine masters their own feeling good which again is that extension of self which is the let go which is the zoning out which is the being purely in higher self and that is, is as well is mastery of the heart right and the mastery of the masculine heart is not it's completely intertwined and completely connected to the feminine's heart but it's not an emotional thing uh, a human emotional thing because human emotions are always in detriment so they're always looking at for a negative they're always looking for a feeling sad or a feeling bad or a feeling ashamed or a feeling worried or a feeling lost that's just what it is to be human right higher self let's go of all of that like they said at the beginning because there's no death right so there's never anything to worry about about anything because we never die in fact we're never we're always vibrational right so um so the feminine's mastery of all of that and their let go brings in the possibilities of what comes from the masculine because when that the, the feminine has moved into that position that acknowledgement of what is right that there's nothing to fear and that everything exists forever and there's no reason to be sad or worried or, or to fret or to be focused so intently into the human emotions of feeling loss that um the masculine can move forward right so they move forward through that freedom that the feminine is the birthing is the feminine's freedom of all of that pain that it is to be human and when the feminine is freed of all of that pain and not in that pain not physically or emotionally or mentally in that pain is the freedom of the masculine to feel good so it's the masculine's feeling good is created through the feminines so it's a feeling link right but it's not um it's like uh moving beyond the, emo the 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 humanness of emotions right it's just a freedom of emotion and a feeling good and the masculine coming into that which it actually is um mastery of the masculine energy inside the one that's operating from the masculine because all along what they're having to do is is, is master their um duality inside themselves they're ma they're also having to master their masculine and their feminine right which is acknowledge that they want love and that they can love and that there is love because at the harder side of the extension which is only masculine is the actual the complete and utter denial of love and that love doesn't exist and that love is unnecessary and that love is a fool's game right so that's the um the 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 100 masculine egoic side but to master the heart is the, the masculine themselves coming into an openness around love but they can only re receive that through themselves through the shared vibration once the feminine has let go of all the negativity around emotions because the equivalent in the feminine of the masculine's view you know um understanding of love is the feminine being connected emotionally to all the negativity of sadness and loss and grief and abandonment and hopelessness that's the equivalent right so they're both coming into a better understanding around love eventually it's free to love eventually it's like love might be all right now love feels okay now i think i'm ready to love now love would be nice now i feel so good says the feminine i feel so good that's all she says i feel so good that the masculine feels oh i feel good i feel good and then there's simply a manifestation 
of coming together into the physical eventually through this happening multiple times through every single moon cycle guided by spirit is underneath so this is guided by your vibrational self that's what spirit is so it's yourself your vibrational self right so again nothing is being done to you there's no harm here it's what you're here for so and you're being guided through the whole process but you can only be guided if you let go and you allow your higher self your vibrational self to guide you that's why you honor what's being said to you during this moon by higher self if higher self is saying lie down then you lie down you know no matter how much ego is saying but you've got to put another load of laundry in no you haven't the laundry can wait um, you know that is simple as that right it's just as simple as that so listen to your higher self you're not meant to be overwhelmed and exhausted that's not a, that's not a suitable situation for birthing <laughs> but, uh, I know there's some women out there and they probably try and put a load of laundry in whilst they're giving birth but that's not op that's not the ideal right so don't do that okay um, let's get one more down on all of these and then we'll finish it off. So let's have a look. Multiple opportunities, ten of wands for for uh, for vibration to manifest. Ten is also completion. So we've got destiny and judgment. We've got completion in the ten and we've got the masculine manifest. Um, let's have a look here. Through pain, three of swords, which is creation through pain. So if anyone's pushing through this right now, it's masculine, right? They're the ones here here he is or she in alignment with that it's the destiny to push through pain so it's actually um like they say your pain your birth of birthing pain is the masculine pushing through that's how you feel it in your in your physical environment which you call your physical body your mental body and your emotional body that is your physical environment right so how you feel it coming through that's them pushing through so know that guided by vibrational self underneath brand new beginning in the physical so that's what it is birthing pains at this moon basically so just honor honor it like they've said and then we're going to go here three of wands the lovers which is destined so that's just on the horizon divine love on the horizon king of cups the masculine um the mastery of the heart and the power of the feminine coming out on that. So nine of pentacles woman is a woman who listens to higher self, even though she's in a physical environment of having a body and having a mind and having emotions. She focuses on her feeling good to create the, all the abundance around her. Feeling good is her higher self. So that's together with higher self, right? Your feeling good is the most important thing, which is why it's not putting in the, the, the extra load of laundry. When your back is aching and you've got a headache, and your higher self is saying, go lie down, take a, take the afternoon off, have a glass of wine, <laughs> listen to higher self. Right. Um, because the masculine requires you're feeling good so they can feel good. If you're wanting anything in terms of your ego wanting, then that's what you have to understand, right? So really, if you want what your ego wants, you've got to honor, your, honor, honor and obey your vibrational self. <laughs> Okay, um, judgment, the connection, temperance, so that's dark to light, masculine to feminine, so it's the masculine coming into the light, chance for them to come into this moon, get a push, be pushed by, by higher self, that's your higher self, their higher self, the same higher self, into taking some action towards the destiny and the destined outcome. Uh, masculine there, made manifest, and then we've got... Um, head over heart so that's ego over feelings right choice point number two so there's this is what they're pushing through as well they're pushing through ego basically at this moon but it is not uh apart from you it is in you and experienced by you in every single way not standing alone as another person separate from you outside of you it's in you so um we're we going now five of ones a um, new road forward again another two another ch just a chance for a movement forward basically choice point chance at this moon let's go here in the full brand new journey moving through resistance basically 
and they said what the resistance is right the resistance is in you so it is you trying to do too much at a moon simple as that simple as that um and that puts resistance into the vibration so that's resistance that's experienced by the masculine um, let's just go here on the Empress. Twin Flames coming out on that. So Rebirth, Twin Flames. And, and another two, by the way. So we've got two, two, two. Two, two, two. Which is this year, right? The Sun, good. Separation. So coming out good on separation, basically, is what that means. So that was this a good, you know, if it was a weather report, it'd be like, well, it's a good chance for physical reunion <laughs> at this moon. However, you know what's required of you, right? So it's less thinking and more and more um, uh, zoning out. Um, let's go one on her. She came out first. Message, page of swords, which is message, which is text, short messages text emails that kind of stuff there you go so created through your vibration <coughs> through your chance for reunion like they say every week is a rollover week <laughs> in terms of physical reunion and actually that couldn't be more than there's no there is so much truth in that that's probably the most true thing the most true thing ever about twin flame reunion is every week is a rollover week <coughs> it's going to happen at some point it's when your vibration dictates that it's time for it. So gearing up, gearing up, gearing up for this maybe being your, potentially being your time at this month, depending on how you are vibrationally aligning with the intention of your vibrational self and honoring your vibrational self. Uh, it's really, I, I, another way to say it is, do not look out of self at what's going on in the world, right? Focus completely on, you could do things like um, meditation, breathing practices, um, but you know, then don't just do a breathing practice and come out and be like, okay, right now, what time is it? Let's go and look at the news and see what's going on in the world. It's more <laughs> for like the, the run up to the moon. So if, if you're in the UK, it's the first, it's Friday. So two days, that's starting tomorrow, a 30th, 31st, and then the second and the third as well, the two days after. So it's five days of zoning out, basically. So if you can take, you know, if you can just like take your phone off the hook and um, not look at emails, you know, don't be like looking at emails all the time and looking for a text and all that kind of stuff. Just like close down. You know, put on, put, close the shutters, put the, put the close sign on the door, turn it around like they're doing shops. Shut up shop. <laughs> right? And completely take yourself out of the game. Six of Cups, Twin Flame Reunion. Coming out in the middle again. Let's get one more down on it. I mean, they couldn't be shouting it out more loudly, could they really? Brand new beginning through vibrational self. Ending. Um... Of the of the feminine's nightmare process. Oh, sorry, process. <laughs> Not nightmare at all. No, no, it was never a nightmare. Um, <laughs> ending of the struggle that goes on in the ego, basically. That's what that is. So the mind always wants to talk, doesn't it? It always wants to talk, and and it always wants to look back and talk about what's gone on in the past and it always wants to judge the present by the past and it wants to think about the future and it wants to judge the future by the present and it wants to think if this happens and that happens and this happens and that happens and it wants to look back and it wants to say well this happened there and that happened there and this happened there and then it wants to look at the present it wants to look around at everything that and it just ignores the mind wants to ignore everything in the present that's completely beautiful and wonderful and feeling good and focus on and try and find things that are going to be erratic and difficult and stressful and you know it's again it's that frowning and squinting and looking out for something that is not right that's and it's the end of that right you're required to to finish that feminine is required to finish that because that's masculine energy and you need to finish it basically and end it inside of yourself okay at least at this moon you know, at least at this moon, there's the moon, 
end it. There it is again. And your relationship to it. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. All right. So um, lots of love. If anybody wanted to get a reading, oh look, that's just coming out. Vibrational accuracy, being your point of attraction, remember. You bring yourself your own reunion so you're feeling good. There, choice point, two of wands. What is feeling good? It's just doing nothing. It's not thinking about anything. It's not required that you have to, you know, have something to feel good about. Or look at something that will make you feel good. It's just a refusal to acknowledge anything that doesn't. And a complete taking yourself out of that. There, masculine heart again. Ma that's mastery of the heart. Being in complete command of your own feeling good at every single uh, the crack of dawn and at the and at the and at dusk and at the at nightfall. This is all is required is feeling good. All right. If anyone wants to get a reading, all my details are below in the box. Lots of love. Take care. Have a good moon. Bye.